Good morning, folks. We're kicking off with a beautiful but benign C6.5 solar flare, which, as expected, waited until the limb to shout her goodbyes. We'll come back to this, but speaking of the sun, we've watched large umbral openings, the dark coronal holes, swing ever more in to face Earth, and we knew yesterday that the time was close. We knew the planets had begun to align geocentrically, with seven celestial bodies forming alignments in four days' time, and this morning the wait is over. The latest earthquake watch began yesterday and you are seeing helioplots across the planet. They're showing L wave readings as a global ringer. A 7.2 earthquake has struck the coast of the Kuril Islands just north of Japan. There are no tsunami warnings and so far it appears there's not much damage or injuries. There was a sea surface level deviation but it would resemble only a slightly larger than average wave. Chilean authorities are racing to abate an ecological disaster as a Chinese fishing boat caught fire near Antarctica. The people were rescued, but the ship and fuel remain. A tremendous storm hit the India-Bangladesh border, killing at least 13 people and spiking the wind around 115 kilometers per hour. Australia and New Zealand don't have much severe weather coming. More rain for the New Zealand drought zones, though, please. In Europe, that same wind event converging air masses has severe watch zones in the Mediterranean, blizzard event in Switzerland, and wind and cold warnings north of that. Then we have the United States. If there is color to your area, you gotta watch at weather.gov. This one storm has caused quite the damage toll, knocked out power at the LaSalle nuclear plant and they're running off diesel. The deluge type downpour in Chicago is blamed for a sinkhole that swallowed three cars. Power is out widespread and severe threat moves eastward for tonight. Meanwhile, that same wind pattern driven by the helical low will be smashing daily heat records throughout the eastern half of the country as it brings that warm air north. Wanted to show this again. It has been a while. It's the long wave radio anomaly for planet Earth. You could spend all day on this site if you're not careful. Shifting to space weather, where we wiped away a multi-week gamma burst drought as one ripped out of the Leo constellation around midday yesterday. The solar wind? Shockingly weak. Despite some minor variation, the ambient stream is well below 300 kilometers per second again and our planetary magnetics? They don't like it. Got that 2.5 to 3 hertz range induction still present been there since the beginning of the weaker solar wind. Here's the US pre-dawn total electron content, shows no anomalies. Well here's the GOES x-ray monitor. The only real spike there is that C6.5 we showed earlier. It did produce a fairly significant CME, but it's headed away from Earth. The flaring won't have a great chance to outdo that today, especially with a clean disk. We'd need major morphing or new spot development. Got some terrific shots of our star to close. Quake watch began, Big Ben struck one. Let's hope the lack of injury is contagious among these types of events. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.